Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Pop OS and Windows 10 using the default system D boot menu instead of installing Grub so let's get started. Let's start the video by downloading the Pop OS ISO file. Open your web browser and search for Pop OS and then go to its official website and download the Pop OS ISO file according to your graphics card. Since I have NVIDIA card, I am going to download the NVIDIA version. After downloading the ISO file, you need to download Rufus in order to make a bootable USB pendrive of Pop OS. So go to its official website and download Rufus. Now insert your pendrive which is at least 8 GB and please make a backup of your pendrive and then open Rufus and select the ISO file which we just downloaded earlier and then click on start since this process is going to take some time I'm going to fast forward it Okay, so after this process is completed, close Rufus and then right click on the start menu and then click on disk management. Now select your local disk and right click on it and select shrink volume. Now give it a size of at least 30 GB. Now restart your computer and while your computer is starting press F2 key to enter BIOS menu and disable secure boot. Go to the security tab and disable secure boot. In some BIOS you may also need to set up administration password and then press F10 to save and exit the setup. Now while your computer is starting, press F12 or escape key to enter boot menu and select USB option to enter Pop OS installation. Here choose your language and your keyboard layout. In this step you need to be very careful and you need to choose custom. Now click on modify partitions. Now it will open gparted. Now right click on the free space and select new and then cre create 512 MB. FAT32 partition now right click on the remaining free space again and create it as a ext4 partition after that click on apply Now click on the new yellow partition and format it as slash boot slash EFI. After that click on the green partition and use it as root partition. Now 
Now this installation will take some time so I'm just going to fast forward it. After the installation is completed restart your computer and then go to BIOS menu again and go to boot tab and set the first boot priority to pop OS. After that press F10 to save and exit BIOS menu and now your computer it should automatically boot into Pop OS. Just quickly complete this first setup. Now we are going to make the dual boot menu appear and add Windows 10 to the menu. So for that open terminal and follow my commands. These commands will be given in the description box below. Type in sudo fdisk-l to see all your devices partitions and you need to note down the partition which says EFI system note down the first EFI partition system it is of the U Windows 10 the second EFI system is of pop OS which we just created earlier mine Windows 10 EFI is the first one which is slash tape slash NVMe 0 and 1 P1 so yours may be different yours may be of STA so please note whichever it is now type this command sudo mkdir slash mnt slash windows we are creating this directory to mount the windows efi partition in linux now mount the efi partition using the following command yours block number may be different so type your block number which shows up in the ftis command now type this command to copy Microsoft Windows bootloader files to the pop OS EFI partition. It will be given in the description box below. Type this command to check if the files are copied or not. As you can see, we can see the Microsoft directory. It means that Windows bootloader files are copied successfully. Now type this command to modify the loader file of systemd boot. Now we need to add timeout and console mode. Just type timeout, give a space and then type time in seconds. I'm going to give it 5 seconds and then type console dash mode and give space and type max. Now press control plus O to save the config file and then press control plus X to exit the text editor. Now next time you turn on your computer you will see a boot menu to choose between operating systems. Now let's restart our computer to see if the menu is showing up or not. As you can see we are greeted by this boot menu to choose between operating systems. For now I am going to choose Pop OS.
now let's restart our PC again to check if we can boot into Windows or not So as you can see we have successfully booted into windows as well. So that's it for the video guys thank you for watching and I hope you found this video helpful and also consider subscribing to my channel. Bye bye.